testing. Testing. All right, so uh, I don't know how popular this is for people to watch, but um, I'm having fun with it, but we're going to go ahead and keep going here with the San Diego Open. This is the third round. We've gotten Ryan Brem. I've, I actually did a little research this time. His name, it seems like his name is pronounced Ryan Brem. He is, he just snuck in uh, above the cut line. So he's going to be playing his final round. And so. Okay, I'm just making sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. And just a second, I need to put that down. Put this down, shrink that, and now I, hopefully we can just get going. So let's get, let's try and get this, at least the third round in here. Pin three, and let's tee off. There's one in here. So, we are right here, and uh, we are going to be the first. We're going to watch Cameron Davis as well, so let's play the round. We're the first ones off here at Torrey Pines. Cameron Davis going to find the left rough here on number one, a little dog leg right. Where is pin number th three? Is It looks like front right. We do want to be to the left. So, um, we can club down a little bit. Let's take a little, just quick look at his, his accuracy isn't very good for driving. Um, it's funny that they go, they have distance and driving accuracy, but then they don't have any like fairway wood ratings. It's kind of interesting, but let's see. So we're down to 253. We're into a decent wind. Let's go ahead and see if uh, I'm going to play a little right of center. I, I know I missed to the left a little bit sometimes. Okay, check up, check up. Stay in the fairway, please. That's, oh, wow. That's, uh, you know, it would have been nice to be down here maybe, but. Yeah, I think I think this is a pretty good angle to come in at this pin. We can let the wind push it from left to right a little bit. And we have 176 yards down the hill. So um I say that's about a five yard. It's about 170. And um into the wind, so we need again. It's going to be probably like 180. Let's play the knockdown and uh, just try and find the middle of the green. Maybe it'll come to the right just a touch, and maybe we end up close if that works out. And the wind knocks it down a ton. Did I? You know, I didn't re-club. That's my fault. I didn't check my yardages once I checked the knockdown, so. It does happen sometimes. And Davis with a long putt. Well, he gives it a great run, but he's going to miss just. I'm going to tap that in. This should go a little quicker than the other one since we only have two of us. Okay, we're going to try chipping this up the hill below our feet a little bit, so we need to aim a little to the right. 
or a little to the left, I mean. Uh, I would like it a little closer than that. Let's see. Let's get aggressive. Okay, good par. Saved par from my inability to change clubs again. <laughs> I, I, it's not my inability, my ignorance to that fact. Okay, good drive for Cam. And uh, that's, I mean, he's playing, his, he's getting his strategy right so far. Left pin, you want to be on the right side of the fairway. And he has definitely left himself what looks like a pretty full club. I think we're going to go three wood or five wood. Let's see, we're going to go five wood or three wood. I think I like the five wood a little better. So let's aim just in the right rough. Now he's hitting it right. Let's hope he just gets between trees. Ah, he's going to be in jail. I think we're going to take our 6% chance right here, and uh, we're still at 6%, so we should be able to keep it low. What happens if we do a uh, knockdown? What about a punch? 0%, but he's not going to be able to get there. What happens if we... One fifty. No, this is a high degree of difficulty. I think we're going to try and punch it under the tree. I think we get to avoid the tree if we do that. <laughs> oh, that is pricey. This is a priceless man. That was. That is highway robbery right there. Uh, let's view the replay. This is we're behind the tree. Have a chance at the bunker. We just hit on the right side of that hill, the lip of it, and it kicks up, and we are putting for birdie. Cameron Davis must be sitting there going, "What the heck?" And he's going to hit this upslope and not get up to the top. So after he hits the perfect drive. And I lose it to the right. He has a tough uphill putt. Probably just lagging it up there. Takes his two putt for par. Now we have a chance to go for it. Thank you, ID Jester. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of... Let's see, can we get a birdie out of this? So we got a 30% we chance of this. Uh, we're not, not gaining a whole lot. But let's, let's be aggressive. Heck, being aggressive... Oh, he just clubbed the heck out of it, man. That's the trouble when you go aggressive. Sometimes it just he decides to take out the uh, the jackhammer. Okay, we still get our par. That's that's unfortunate, but heck, that could have been bogey or worse. <laughs> I, I still had a six percent of I had a six percent of missing the tree if I had just taken the normal shot, but that was a great break. Okay, this is a this is a tough pin position. Um, oh boy, Cameron. Well, at least at least he's making it so we may have a better chance of not finishing last <laughs> if he does this. Okay, so we're a strong wind. You know, it'd be great to get up on this top tier, but how are you going to get there? You know, it's it, you're taking you're already taking a long iron which does not give you a whole lot of, and it is softer, but is it soft enough to hold this long iron? Because you gotta be able to land it. Now the thing is you might be able to, if you get it right at the top and it takes a little check forward, then you might be fine, but that's like, that's like super over analysis. I think what we need to do is we need to take the fat part of the green it's what 205 now we have this crosswind 
So that means to get over here, we have to aim probably at this particular point. We don't want to go any farther than 210. And this is downhill, so we've got to figure 205, but into the wind. This 210 club might just be a little too much. If we go high, it's 204. That means we're probably going to come up short, even though it is. Well, you know what? It is a little. This is a. So this is 20. This is probably 20 yards downhill. Maybe 22. So. So. Man, so that means we probably need more like a 180. I mean, we do not want to end up over this. What if we go normal 8 iron, 180? I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid we're... I think we need to go with... The, I think we need to go with that one and go with the high shot and just try to end up somewhere on the green. If we could get on this back shelf, that would be great. I don't want to... Oh, and he's going to miss it left. Hmm. What happened there? Well, this will be a little easier. He didn't even miss it that much, but I guess just the wind effect is, uh, yeah. All right. So again, we're downhill. I should have just been happy right there, but I mean, I aimed here. It's not like I aimed right there. <laughs> so maybe I will finish last. <laughs> just when you think, uh, you know, just like golf, just when you think you, you got something figured out with a, a game and you're on the front end of things. I think we just got to lag this up here and hope we get our double at this point. So, this gives you so much of a potential to be aggravated. So, what I wonder is if on that par three, if I aimed farther than my max yardage, it might have been, I might have been aiming 194, and that club is, it says 184, and, you know, that's, that's kind of a tough, uh, that's a, t that's a tough mechanism about this game, is if you, if you don't really make that last thought process to say, you know what, I need to make sure this thing isn't too far down. Because, you know, you're going through all this other analysis and, you know, you've got this elevation change. That's a very steep elevation change. And if you don't, uh, let's make sure we get the right yardage here. We need the long one and we want it to be right a little bit. But we don't want to end up in the right rough if we can help it. So that's a that's kind of a nice recovery from what was a real boner. Okay. Front left pin. That's why we put it on the right. We've got the slope helping us here on the in the fairway here. It's above our feet, so that's gonna help bring the ball around. We can aim the center. <clears throat> Again, when you get the anytime you get the wind in this game, I think you you're just really making it a lot tougher. Now the thing is, with this wind, we cannot. I think we may even have to play a little bit of a draw as well as take that to, to try and counteract the wind. We also have this over here, which is a hazard. We gotta avoid that. A little bit of follow wind. It is uphill, but not much. 
it's that 159 little follow it's we're we're right pin high depending on how but the downhill lie is also going to make us fly longer so i'm going to take 95 percent as well i shouldn't have gone 95 i should have gone full um where did i go wrong Nine iron, 145. So the wind was coming out of the right. It's uphill, but only like maybe three yards. My base club carry was 159. According to that. And instead it goes 145. That's... Unless I'm misreading the wind. Maybe I'm misreading the way the wind indicates. I'm, I'm assuming this is somewhat re in relation to the Google map. That would be nice to know, is if you see a wind pointing from what looks like this direction here. If that really means it's a headwind, then I'm, I've been playing this game wrong from the get-go. And it could be. It could very well be. That that acted like a headwind, right? I'm assuming that the wind indicator is based upon is based upon the Google map. Massive uphill. It said like two degrees. It's, but maybe I'm wrong. I might have you know. When you're checking out the fact, did I get what I get? A bogey back, back, uh, double bogey, then bogey. No, I guess I part it. You're probably right. It probably was more uphill than I expected. But so if this means we have a wind behind us, I'm assuming it means that this wind is coming from the. Let's see, is there any? I mean, that's that's what you really need. Is uh, you know, I, I got to look this up at some point. Maybe this is a, maybe this is actually more of a following wind, and we need to think about it more like. Um. So let's see. Does this give us any? Does this give us any indication of the compass north? So here we go. Let's let's. Uh, I have to go and. Sorry, I gotta say something. All right, let's take a look at this course. I'm going to take a look here on my Google map on my phone. Because this, this could... This would be something... So... San Diego. La Jolla. I think it's a little north of town, if I recall. There you are. There is, is this, uh, okay, there, is that Tory? that's probably not Tory Pines. Doesn't look like, there's Tory Pines, the south course. So this is, it's got a little snaky looking bunker on the right, correct? Okay, so there's. This is hole number five with a snaky looking bunker on the right. Let's see if we can find this. No, that's not it. That's, I thought that's, yeah, that's close, but that's not it. So that's 18. So that means that's the back nine. 
So here's one. Two. There's three. Is this four here? No. I shouldn't be wasting time with this, but I'm... I'm this really bugs the you-know-what out of me. Because if I could... Boy, trying to trying to use Google Maps to uh, what do you want to call it? Ooh, there it is. Is that it? Yes. Okay. So that is that is going. That's a, this is a south hole. So north, east, south, west. So it's coming. So southwest at twelve. So the, yeah. So this is it's coming from that. This so this wind. The wind direction is definitely based on the vantage point to the hole itself. That so I'm just confirming that we're I'm, I'm playing that I'm not in the under the wrong impression here. You know, just making sure. <laughs> Finally found hole four. It took me a while. Okay, so we got a left tendency with Brem uh, anyway, and the wind's going to bring us back. So I didn't really look to see where the pin is located on this hole. Back. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, we're a little left to center, and it's back right, so that gives us an angle in. Now he's going to. He's looking at bunker maybe. Doesn't quite get there. I'm not happy that I'm plus one for the tournament right now, but it's also rainy conditions. It should be soft greens then, right? Okay, this is going to take it from right, uh, left to right because of my stance. It's also downhill. That kind of takes a little bit off. It's level. 168. We're going to say it's a 172 shot. So we need more than 160. We'll go 172 on that one. Let the let the natural. Well, we also have the wind. So let's let's aim at the flag and let the wind bring it back to the center of the green, plus a, a little bit of the slope. Yeah, fair enough. Be nice to get back to even par with a good putt here, but his putting has not really shown to be particularly great. What is it? List long putting is better than his medium putting, and this is medium, so <clears throat> pretty much the same percentage make, ten percent. Eh fair effort. Looks like we're high likelihood of both parring this. Venture. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Longish par five. We do have the wind behind us, which if we can... Now, yesterday, every drive we hit seem to be horrible so um, let's let's play a fade around the corner here gonna go with a six yard fade we'd love to get it down 340 would be great but uh, I'll take anything at this point and he's going a little too far to the right missed it right too I think yeah three degrees 301, 250 left. We're probably not going to be able to get there. Of course, Cameron, he's going to put it right into the bunker.
bunker. So we're both laying up here, probably. I mean, I might be able to jet it onto the green. Nah, our lie is not good at all. So let's, let's see with the following wind. It'd like to be about 130. So that's 120 down the road. I think I'm going to take the opposite approach to this. Let's see. Let's, let's just play a pitch and putt here. So let's go ahead and take it as far down the, the line as we can. Let the old wind do its job. He's going left. Just can't help himself. So now we've got a tough little pitch. That's where I wanted to be. Now he's going to come up short. <clears throat> okay. So he'll have a he'll have an uphill putt, but he's also got to navigate that tier. So now we have let's say 58 in the air probably. So we're going to have to go to like a 50% shot probably. Maybe a 60% shot. Let's see how this goes. He still misses it. Oh my goodness. That was, I mean, we still have, we have a chip for birdie, but we're going to have to flop. And he hits a nasty flop. You know, when you feel like you can play better golf than the guy that's playing in the on the screen, that makes you <laughs> start wanting to pull your hair out. Now, I know that's not exactly true, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could hit that chip better than he did. Pretty sure. <laughs> But I haven't lost the tee, so bogey in a par 5 is not your favorite way to spend your Father's Day. But Well, it would be a good way for me to spend my Father's Day, but I don't think Ryan Brem wants to be doing that. At this point, I'm just... At this point, with this guy, like the first two rounds, I felt like I was in pretty good shape. Now that Well, yesterday's round, I was starting to get to the point where I'm just like, i got to put... I just got to put the aim marker right in the center of the fairway and hope. Um, now I'm not even sure what I'm doing for him. Like every shot is, he can hit a great one and then he can hit a, so we just got to keep, we just got to keep whiling away at this and hope, hope that uh, a few of the shots, I'm going to try and play the fade in here. Try to play a fade off of this around this bunker it's downhill about five yards so 145 but it's into the wind so 158 I'm gonna go to the 161 club with a little bit of fade and can't be any worse than just hitting the pl plain old straight shot right it didn't really fade but the wind might have just had more of an effect than I had planned and he missed it left again about a birdie putt be nice if he made one. We're taking on water here, and uh, <laughs> need to plug the hole. RGL, you have a hangover. Oh, a hangover from the the marathon game. Yeah. Well, 
Ah, what the heck. Let's go aggressive with this putt. Come on, make it. Yeah, he just... You kind of feel like this guy, before he grabs his putter, he has to um, put the put his um, little stick for, you know, feeling his way along the path because it just seems like he is blind pretty much to most anything that has to do with reading the green. Maybe he needs a new caddy. Maybe his sh stroke is horrible, but... <laughs> I feel like I would make him look like a bad putter and that's really tough because <laughs> I'm a bad putter all right so this is this is a decent this is a decent place to have the pin you don't have to deal with the bunker again you, you have this backstop the wind is really complicating things some it's uh, and you know you've got this take basically take two times through so six that's a 180 yard shot so let's just say 186 to that, but then you've got 10 mile an hour wind. So 176. If you go high, that's 176, but that's also going to mean more wind effect, most likely. So at 169, it's going to go 175. Five, but it's up the hill so you know it's like you're, you're gonna barely get on the green with that so I think we have to go high and hope and if we end up on the back side of the green oh well let's make sure we there you go see carry 164 I was gonna aim that thing at the pin it's um that is severely gonna increase your chances of disaster so let's see it's gonna have enough club I still decided to put the bunker into play. Probably missed it three degrees left. No, two and a half. <clears throat> Good distance. That was what I was afraid of doing. And I think maybe my miss hit helped me <laughs> keep it <laughs> on the lower tier. And he's going to come up just short. We're, we're kind of feeding off each other here. I don't want to. I don't want to give a hearty run at this putt. It was a good run anyway, but we're basically at the bottom of the leaderboard at the moment. It's actually not the leaderboard when you get down that far. It's the <laughs> loser board. <laughs> At least we have all these cut guys who are, <laughs> but no. So we're we're tied with Campos, and we're we our playing partner is two behind us. So hopefully we can just it'd be nice to make our way back. Hey, there's Brooks Kepka. He's having a rough go of it too. So what I what I was hoping for here is just to make some money on the cut. And uh, we're still hoping for that. So we're not going to hit 380 yards. We're going to hit it 290 or so. Into the wind. A little bit. And a little bit of... So we just want to try and get it on the short stuff. The wind didn't help us that much. Actually, it was just our... Our miss didn't help us that much. Um, four of six fairways today. I think I was five of 14 in the round yesterday. Fairways hit, and I was, but I had a really good greens and regulation. Needed every bit of that to be able to <laughs> keep sneak in to the final weekend rounds. Okay, I think we want to end up in this one, man, 
colors are so tough to see sometimes. I guess I should be looking down here at the bottom. From there, it's 124. A little end of the wind, and our, our club there is 126. We'd like to be more like probably one. Like 115. So that's 181. We'll go with the 187 club. Let's see what kind of a leave we have. No check up there. This ridge should not come into play whatsoever. What do we have? 105, so that ended up a lot closer than what I had hoped. Uh, carry 107 into the wind. This is actually not so bad. Let's go with high spin shot. Let's aim a little to the right. And a little shorter than that. Come on, wind. Ugh. little bit uphill I think that oh, he's gonna make a putt oh boy I thought he made it thought he was gonna draw back a little more uphill putt let's let's go aggressive good grief can't he make a dang putt for once we're going to take 40 putts here on this round. All right, so same direction. So again, we want... I'm going to leave myself 160. 239, we need a 240 club. Go with the five wood. A little right to left. Glad we focused it so far to the right because it at least gets us in a place where. How far did that run? He it carried 243, and the club was 249. So we have 137 left. I think we're going to end up in between clubs here. Fortunately, fortunately, we do have this backstop. Oh, Cam Davis with a lucky, lucky little bounce out of the rough. Could have stuck. So 146 uphill. 137 uphill by like 3 degrees, 4 degrees, uh, four, 4 yards. So 141. I, I think... I think we're in good shape with this. I think I think we're gonna end up hitting this this little this little ridge in the back, and it will spin back off if everything goes well. And if not, we'll end up short of the ridge, and then we'll be pretty close to the pin. So that's that worked according to plan. Now can we make a putt for once? If we're watching Cam Davis, we're never going to make a putt. <laughs> Downhill, we do not want to go aggressive with this. Finally! He likes the back nine. That is true. I'm not hung over, I'm just, uh, I don't know. 
Okay, so yesterday's pin was in this right lobe. This one is all the way back. And it's into the wind. So one one of the nice things about this particular situation is, is we're going to have to use such a long club that it's not going to generate the spin. We might be able to have it hit to the top of the hill and just plop up to this little postage stamp. But we need to do a little calculation. And it's downhill. So it goes from 200. Now my, my way of calculating this, I don't know. It's probably, I don't know if it's mathematically accurate, but this is the way I do it. So it says it's 200 yards. I figure 1% um, of 200 is 2. So then I take the degrees and I multiply it by that. I know that's not going to be exact. So I figure that's a 14-yard discrepancy between the two. So, when it comes to that, I'm thinking, you know, 185-ish, maybe even 180, and, but into the wind, that's going to add up to maybe even 12 back, so we're probably in this 197, 198 range, 191 is too much, I think the high shot is going to get us in trouble, maybe. But I think we, you know, it's going to play much a little more wind. I, I don't really want to be long this chip down. If you hit it a little too long, you might end up back to the front anyway. So I'd rather just be on the front to begin with. So I'm going to go with this 200-yard club. Again, it's about 185, but it's going to bring it back to 195 with the wind probably. That's still a little too far, isn't it? That might. That might hurt us. Let's do this calculation again. The difference, 15 and 13 is 2. 2 yards. So 198 for 2 yards. So we it's going to be 2 yards of farther. So if it goes 200, it's going to carry 203. It would end up running back and over. Well, let's hope that the wind curtails it a little more than we're expecting. So I'm also not confident that he's going to hit this online, but let's let's see. And he doesn't. It's going way left, and we're going to short side it. It's going to hit the tree, and we're in double bogey land now probably. And I didn't... And I didn't readjust my shooter. 5% chance. What if we go pitch? This is... This is jail here. We're... taking the safe route and taking our bogey and what is that S snowman <laughs> I don't think we're gonna end up with a snowman but I was wondering about that I don't know is that a snowman it's kind of tough to see my chat window is pretty okay let's lag it up the hill here Let's hope he gets it within easy bogey distance. Man, it's not a gimme, but he's going to make it. All right. Well, we handed that stroke back. I think I might have, I might have again forgotten to readjust my aiming reticle. So, if you do that, then good, you know, Godspeed. Who knows where you're going to end up? Happy Father's Day, by the way. I don't know if I said that before, but you guys with chillins, uh, happy, happy Father's Day. I hope you have a great one out there. Whatever you're going to do, if you go play some golf, if you go drink some beer, if you go, hopefully not mow the lawn, but if you have to, I guess that's what you got to do. 
play some video games, play some cards and dice games. All right. Better. Oh, that's a... Is that a bird? How is that a bird? Hello, Forever Remain 90. That chat, I just... Oh, I guess that is a bird. That's a bird's beak. Interesting. I, 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 it, it's just so small, it's tough to see it. Alright, so I'm away. Long shot into this par 4. Back left, the wind is working against us. Let's go 10 yard draw and let's aim right of the let's aim the right center part of the green. Let's hope the draw brings us back and that the wind plays a little bit of a foil for us. So 2.1 and 3 is 6.3. Maybe a little farther downhill. I wish we wish we just give it in yardage, but I don't know. I guess that means that you should be. I should be better at my uh, trigonometry or whatever. Um, but let's just say it, let's just say it's two o five with a little bit of headwind, so two ten. I don't want to add any more difficulty to this shot. I'm afraid it's going to go long here. Because if that's 10 yards, 225. Now granted, the wind should help us, and we are also eating up some yardage on this little draw. All right, let's, let's aim a little farther to the right. Okay. That's serviceable. I feel like that's a sucker pin. Get a two putt and get the heck out of here. It's a long par four. Now he's going right at it and he's going to hit a great shot. He was feeling a little more comfortable with that. I wasn't. Let's lag it. How about you make a lag? I haven't made a lag in a long time in this game. <laughs> I guess that was just asking a little too much. Now, if he doesn't make his birdie, that shot wasn't really worth it, right? The risk versus the reward. I guess when you're two shots clear of everybody else in the wrong direction, then you just can't. Okay, a par five, but this is 605. It's super long. It wasn't that long yesterday. wind is is the wind hurting us here probably it looks like that was wind aided to the left yeah well there's a little bit of a little bit of tailwind too so um yeah it's you know what it's basically straight across i think so let's let's aim it right over in here Okay, on the short grass, what are we now? Six of nine. So we've uh, he went to the went to the range, said, "Hey, boss, can you help me figure out my putting or my uh, my driving foibles?" And sure enough, okay, it's uphill. I don't know. Let's. I don't know, do I want to play this as a three shot or I want to try and get it up in this neck and see if we can chip and putt for a birdie. Um, I feel like if we get it in this neck, we've got a lot of green to work with and we can play the chip game back up the hill. 256, let's give it a whirl. we got the wind behind us too, a little bit to the right. Let's see if we can just get it up in that nook. And we're going to have to play with the bunkers. 
I think we're we might we're probably still okay. I feel like a chip in a putt sometimes easier than a short iron in a like so he's got now a, a lob wedge. He should, I mean he'll probably put it close, but. But that's not going to help whatsoever. We're not going to have to worry about that backspin. Instead, we've got to worry about having a good shot here. Let's, let's go with the pitch. Up the hill. Oh, and then he scoops it and dupes it. And, oh, and it ends up in the bunker. You're pathetic, Ryan. You're pathetic. <laughs> At least he didn't make the birdie. Would have put uh, added insult to injury for sure. But we both finished with par, so Justin Harding has eclipsed us. So we're at least not. And Brooks is within sniffing distance here. So if we can if we could, if we could end up on a par with Brooks Kepka, I think we could really feel like we've uh, done our due diligence today. All right, left uh, or uh, basically just the front of the green. Just pretty much want to get it into the fairway here. Um, so what do we, what do we want here? So it's going to be a cross wind, maybe a little bit. So, I'd like it to be in the 140s. So it's a 271. I think we're going to go with the five wood. Seems like that rolls out to about that. The left side of the fairway, aim and let the wind bring it to the center right. And hopefully we end up with something around a 140 yard shot in. 147, that's not bad at all. He's going out of bounds. He's in the bunker. No, he's going to get over the bunker. Tail, tail of the green. One forty-eight. I will say, I guess, I guess another thing that I kind of forget, and I wonder if it does. Like, I'm wondering if this carry, you see how the club carry distances, yardage is shown are from a level eye in the fairway on average course conditions. So, if 151, if the 148 carry factors in the wind, and if that's the case, then that makes this game even a little bit easier. Like, because I'm sitting here doing mental calculations. Now, I do have to worry about it's a little bit downhill. So one and eight, yeah, about two yards. So that's about a one. It's going to travel one fifty. If we do that, one forty three is going to travel one forty five, which gets us just on the front of the green with an uphill putt. So let's let's see how this works out. I feel like it's going to bite me in the butt probably, but let's see. <laughs> maybe not maybe I have been playing this a little a little too thought and uh, a little too much thought into this so bogey for Cam Davis this is 
We're gonna lag it. No, no, we're not. I don't want to go aggressive. He usually pounds the snot out of it. I wanted to use a different word, but okay, birdie. So I think that ties us with Kepka now, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now I feel like maybe I've made a little bit of a revelation, which may mean I can maybe take a little different approach here from now on. Let's see. Maybe I don't need to worry about the wind so much. The wind component of distance. Which that would be great. If that's the case. So. Alright. We've got this little. Little nose. Right here. Kind of looks like the nose of a rat. Right here. This looks like a rat, and then this is kind of like its nose, and this pin position is right, and that's eh, more like maybe his beady little eyeball right there. So, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be carrying at 288. It's probably like a 300 yard rollout. 168 left. So that would end up with us being. Maybe that one, maybe that nine iron gets us there. So let's let's just hope that we can put it in the fairway. But yeah, maybe that's maybe that's something that can. I was always playing this like some other games where I've you you have to factor in your win component. But maybe the yardage is already helping you there, and your caddy's basically telling you this this should fly. Wow, he finds his way through all those trees. But maybe it's like, you, here, it's going to carry this with the wind. Which, I don't know. I feel like it might be a little more fun if you didn't have that helping you. But So the pitching wedge, so we're, we're at, what, 149? That must have really rolled out more. It's okay. So 151 with the following wins is 147. 147 puts us pin high. And it's pretty much flat. There's a little bit, maybe a yard. So we have to aim at the bunker probably because of the wind. Let's see what happens here. I'd rather, let's see if we can, let's hopefully just, hopefully we just get it over top of this ridge. Bite! Okay, well, the wind might have contributed more there. It carried 152. That doesn't make any sense. All right, well. Maybe I'm back to not... I'll tell you what, that shot was so great the previous hole, I thought maybe I had unlocked something. But I don't think I had. I think it's... I think you still have to figure out the win here. This is ticklish. Oh, and he bombs it. It's going to go down to the front. No! Brain, you idiot. It's Brem. You idiot. He's just a new regular putt. Can you make another one of these, please? He's not going to hit it. Not going to hit it. Weakling. Bogey. He's in this little spin where he birdies a hole and then bogeys. I guess that's better than Davis who just bogeys holes, it seems like. Oh, man. We tied Kepka and then we proceeded to give it right back. Par three. He's taking a wood in the bunker. Five wood. Do we need a wood here? Stiff wind. So 
All right, so I guess what we see here is carry 222 rolls out to 225. So there's not there's no magic bullet there that uh, that was. Or, so I do have to factor in the win. If I would have factored in the win on that hole, I might have ended up. I probably would have ended up on the front part of the green. Get a, at least get a par probably. Uh, I mean, we could have three putted, but 226 down the hill. So. That's about a seven yard. So you gotta you gotta take about a two twenty club, two nineteen club. But the wind is we'll say eight in your face. So two twenty eight, I'm gonna guess two twenty two is probably not gonna be enough to get it to the upper tier. Two thirty might be a little too much. If we go high, the wind's gonna knock it down more. Thirty-seven. Let's see. That's too far. Two thirty. Gets two twenty. But down the hill, I, I think. I think we have to hit this shot here and hope that it, the carry. Maybe he hits it a little bit lighter than hundred percent, and he it catches this ridge and just pops it up and onto the top part. I mean, we don't want to go long, but we're kind of, kind of looking for something here. Now it's going left. Are we going to end up in the bunker? Yeah. He missed to the left. Let's pitch it. And he's going to leave it in the, if he, you're damned if you do with this guy and you're damned if you don't. Look at you. This guy is torturing me. Okay, there's a putt for a bogey. I'm saying too many good things about other people. Too many good things about myself. <laughs> with this guy not myself but with Brem like oh he likes his back nine. Oh, look at Davis he's bogeying all over the place oh clink clunk eh, he doesn't have any tree obtrusions obstructions um what on the left? Let's let's play a little draw here. And man, we're gonna have we're gonna have it's gonna be a following breeze, so we're gonna end up way down in here probably. It is uphill though. Aim a little to the right. Let's draw. Let's see how far. That's 17 yards to the left. We got some wind helping us. Didn't really draw much. Missed it right, I guess, is probably what the thing will say. Three degrees to the right. So, might play a little fade in here. Oh boy, he hit a great shot. Really good, out of the rough. Lucky to get through the trees, and now it's coming back off of that little knob. What do we have? One, I'm going to say 120-ish in length, which means it's going to be about 125 to the with a, with the wind behind us. We have a chance this club. I think we need to do high. Let's not do high spin. Let's just do high. 117, add 5. That's 121. I think that, I think that will be okay for us. Let me see. 
Hmm. Let, me, let me start over. I gotta start over with my with my. Uh, sometimes you get to the point where you've analyzed it and you're not sure where your thoughts have taken you. So, one nineteen, one twenty is about the farthest that we want to go, right? Which means we've got about a one twelve. If you consider the wind, but then it's uphill a little bit. So we take, say, 115. 115 is our club. That means we do not want the 121. 117 is a little long, but 105, you can't do with that. I think we just have to trust the 117. Maybe put a little. Well, we can't put any fade on it. So we're gonna. We're not. We're not gonna fly in the bunker. We're gonna take caution to the wind here. We're gonna aim a little left of the pin. And hope. Oh, and what's the carry 117? Let's aim 111. Just a little left of the pin. The wind will bring it left to right. Get up. Get to that ridge and stay. Back up. Back up. No. Oh. He's not going to go. Oh, if he had not moved so far to the right, we would have been okay. I think he would have been right on this lip. What a clown. I knew I was, I was worried about it being a little too much club, and it was just... Doesn't that just butter your bread for you right there? Man, so irritating. <laughs> okay, Chuck Howell, he's tied with Cameron Davis now, so. Sure it would be nice not to be in the la or in the first group off again, but things are not looking great. And we've got a back left pin here on 18. we we're gonna have to mess with the water if we want to get there probably. I mean, what might be our friend is if we actually miss the fairway here. <laughs> but who wants to do that? 10 of 13 fairways today. Really uh, solid driving. Everything else has kind of gone kerplooey. Let's see if he can find the fairway here. Now that's going for bunker. We may have given ourselves a break here. <laughs> forced ourselves to lay up short of the pond. I'll tell you, it is tempting. We've got 220 with a little bit of wind behind us. You need 214 to carry. If you have a good lie, 213. But the 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 sand is, what do we got if we go up? 234 is going to put us way over. Mm, man, I'll tell you, it is so tempting. It is really tempting to give this a whirl. He gets a good lie. He's he might be pin high. As it rolls out, it would be. I, I I don't think we can do this. I want to, so badly, but I think. I think it's going to be a big problem. You know what? Hell's bells. Let's go for it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay. <laughs> See, when you can't even get up to the front top tier, 
then it makes you think, man, I'm, I'm probably was like when your playing partner doesn't do anything with it, then of course I'm hitting bunker shots like I'm in the midst of a seizure or something. So how about one good bunker shot here, fella? No, I wouldn't call that a good bunker shot. Switch to short game. Uh, we're, we're not messing with short game here. Let's pot it. Come on, make this. He's not making it. He's not making it. What are we quit kidding? He takes 50 putts here on this round. The only one putt he had was from like one foot. Chump. It says 28 putts. He must, I guess his one putts were, uh... Ah, oh, what, what a time. So... <laughs> It's fun when you're working on the pit cut, like when you're trying to uh, get him in the cash, and he's already had probably his two best rounds of the weekend is when it starts getting pretty tough. 76. Seventy-six. Well, Charles Howell is making it tough for himself. Well, things keep working the way they are we won't be in in the first group off which is positive well unless we're in a threesome it would be nice to see be nice to see soda you know one of these other guys fall off a little bit but it looks like it's gonna just peter out here Oh. oh boy, Charles Howell's working on an 81 right now. <laughs> 81. That's why you went and got your tour card. Shoot 81. At least we're not doing that, right? <laughs> Oh, so, you know, you have your, you have your good days and you have your bad days, right? Well, maybe we'll be able to take a look and see which group we'll be in. Well, there's 70 golfers, so there's no reason for them to make a threesome. Because it's not an odd number. So, we should be paired with either Harding or Soderberg. Unless unless Charles Howell like or Cameron Davis just like pulls a hangnail or something. What happened here? We're just waiting for all these golfers to finish. We got Morikawa and Hovland. Looks like they are still in the lead. We've got, I guess we got to scroll up here and see what's going on at the top of the leaderboard at the moment. Sergio is in control right now. Sergio said something really weird yesterday. Get, got him in trouble a little bit. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Someone, someone came down with COVID on tour. I don't know if it's Nick, if it's Nick Faldo or if there's a Nick, a player named Nick. And he said something like, oh, he's a nice guy. He's, he's not one of the ones who deserve to get it. Something like that. He was just like, really an awful thing. Oh, Hovland kicks in here. Oh boy, Mar Morikawa had a four over round. He just fell apart down the stretch. Do, do we get to see a scorecard if we Let's see? Bogeyed one, birdied the par five six, then bogeyed seven, 12, 15, 16, went right down. Hovland, did he birdie the final two or three? No, he birdied 14 and 17. 
Garcia bogeyed 18. No, he birdied 18. So Hovland, Garcia, Poulter, Bradley, Morikawa. Morikawa, as I mentioned yesterday, is the guy last week on the real tour who um, missed a couple of real short putts that he could have. Well, the first one he would have won. The second one was to continue a playoff. So let's finish this round. Let's advance. Let's just see. Does this give us our pairings? Yeah, nice. We get the get to finish in style. All right, I'm gonna close out here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, hope everybody has a good Faja's Day. Uh, little reference to <laughs> Austin Powers there, but. Um, you know, we'll do the final round, I don't know, maybe tomorrow night, maybe today, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm going to have going on later, uh, going to be going out and doing something for a bit, but then, who knows, might just sit down and watch some golf or whatever, so, yeah, it's about time for church, so see you soon, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.